Hey everyone, this is Alex from ninjateacher.com, the fastest growing job placement service in Asia, and I'm out here in Hanoi, Vietnam, in my alleyway where I live, and I'm gonna do a quick video for you today about my apartment, what part an apartment is like here, what houses are like here, and how you can find one. So this is cool if you're thinking of coming out here and teaching English, in Hanoi, in Vietnam, and you want to get a sense of what it's like to live here. So, without further ado, let's crack into the content. So, here on the street, you can see we have these big villa-type houses. And I don't know if you can tell, but each one of these is a narrow, tall house. So, there's a lot of these here in Vietnam, and it's because of the colonial architecture from the French and you'll find that these houses are a great place to stay, especially if you're teaching here. So, of course, you can stay in an apartment too, but I actually live in one of these houses with a bunch of other teachers. And while it's not quite the same as living in an apartment, it is a very big, spacious house. And the nice thing about that is there's a lot of space, you can hang out with other people, um, Everyone in my house has become good friends. We, uh, you don't have to necessarily hang out with everyone that you live with, but it is nice that you can do that. Okay, so these are some houses along here. Uh, I don't know why they're burning stuff here. They do that. And this here is our place, number seven. As you can see, it's a tall house. Uh, it's actually four, four or five stories and each one of them has rooms. Okay, so here in my garage we have a couple of bikes. This is my one here. It's a Honda Dream and there's a Honda Wave. And we've got another bike here, a bicycle. Most people have motorbikes here. All right, going into the house, some more bicycles. It's kind of nice riding around our neighborhood on bicycles. Okay, and you take your shoes off. As is tradition in Vietnam, not wearing shoes inside. Uh, you won't find many houses where you can walk around with your shoes and shoes on. <laughs> and here we just have a kind of entrance hall, lounge area. And as you can see, we have a pretty big kitchen. It's nice. There are six people living here, so we've got two fridges, kind of dining table there, and uh, you know, pretty much everything you need: stove and sink and microwave and <laughs> ovens aren't a big thing in Asia, so we have a little portable type oven, <laughs> and then. Uh, this like pantry area in there. Okay, so going upstairs. Okay, and then here we have what was my room for the last few months. And as you can see there, everything I own packed up into a couple of bags. Kind of exciting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been a, a nice place and this room was only $145 per month and it's got its own bathroom, you know, nothing fancy, but like, you know, everything works fine and typical Asian shower with like no curtains or anything. <laughs> um, yeah, so good spot, really good for that per month and utilities on top of that, you know, not more than like $160, $70 per month for everything. So yeah, goodbye room. This here is one of my friend's rooms. She is paying about $180 a month. I think it is 
and a nice little view from here. Got a bit of nature and terrace, balcony, but uh, upstairs is where the really nice terrace is. Okay, so there's a lot of stairs. Alright, and then we come into the top here where you can do your laundry, washing machine, a little bit of skylight there. And then, this is by far the best part of the house, the terrace. <laughs> My housemates like to do yoga, I do a bit of yoga actually now and again. Um, and this is the prime spot. Hammock. And then, yeah, that's the view we have, which is not too shabby. And there you can see West Lake, which is the big lake around this area. We are in Teho, which is known as the foreigner teacher kind of area. And it's on the edge of the lake here. So yeah, that was a quick tour of my current apartment. I'm actually moving out, so as you could tell from all my stuff packed up, I am heading down to Ho Chi Minh after living here in Hanoi for about six months. And it's been a great city to live in, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna head down to Ho Chi Minh and see what I can do in terms of hooking you guys up with jobs, teaching English jobs, and uh, showing you in more videos what it's like down there as opposed to Hanoi. Because Hanoi is the capital and it's known to be more cultural, a little bit more laid back, whereas Ho Chi Minh's more, a little bit more exciting, apparently, haven't been yet, and um, maybe a bit more kind of bustling and more stuff going on, I guess. And, um, you know, I've really enjoyed it here. It's been a great time, and I can't complain, but it's gonna be nice to go down there. So before I jump into the tips for finding an apartment, I just wanna mention, if you do wanna come out here and teach, if you want to come and experience what living here is like, living really cheaply and making a good salary of about, you know, anything from a thousand to two thousand dollars per month while only paying, you know, $145 for rent, uh, living expenses maybe 500 to 800 dollars per month, very, very uh, easy to get by cheaply here, then uh, check out my free training on how to get started. I think it's up there and uh, you can see exactly what you need to do to get started here in Hanoi and just in Vietnam in general to get a teaching job and, and get started. But yeah, let me crack into some tips then for finding an apartment. The best thing that you can do is go on Facebook groups. So there is one very big Facebook group with about 40 to 50,000 people in it and it's called Hanoi Massive. So check out Hanoi Massive. And in that group, you'll see lots of postings for places that you can live. And typically they'll be a little bit higher than this place. Uh, we got a good deal. This is $1,000 for this entire huge house. Uh, as you can see, there was the smaller rooms on the one side and the bigger rooms on the other side. There's three levels of that. So six rooms in total. And that's $1,000 and we split that. So I only pay $145. The bigger rooms pay 185 I think it is. And then we just split utilities, which is, you know, about $20 per month for electricity, water, and internet, and gas. So, yeah, you can find some good deals, like a big house like that, or you can just pick up uh, a room in a house, you know, you can just pay for a room. And typically, you're, if you're doing that, you're looking at about 200 to $250. Uh, we got a really good deal here. So expect to pay that for a room in a house with other expats or Vietnamese people too. But it's, I think it's nice to live with expats too because sometimes Vietnamese have, uh, you know, like curfews and, and stuff like that. They, they don't necessarily like you staying up late, um, which, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But um, that can be a problem if you do want to be flexible and not have any restrictions. So living in a big house with other expats and other teachers is quite a good option. So you can do that. Um, otherwise, if you want to get an apartment, you can get one for about 200 
and 50 uh, to 350, maybe if you're sharing a two bedroom apartment, that each, okay, you'd pay that about, about that each. Uh, maybe a bit more, depending on the place. And if you got your own place, you're looking at about $350 to $450 per month. Still not a lot of cash when you're making $25 per hour, $20 to $25 per hour teaching English here. So it's a, it's a good idea to uh, come out here to teach. <laughs> so when you do want to go ahead and find a spot, what do you do? Well, you can just go on this Facebook group, Hanoi Massive. And if you want to be in this area that I live in here, by the West Lake, and it's called Te Ho. So this is the teacher foreigner area um, where it's known for that. You can live in a more Vietnamese area too. And when I say it's a teacher foreign area, I'm saying like maybe 10 to 20% of people are from, you know, from abroad, from other countries. It's still very Vietnamese. It's just, there's a lot more um, Western kind of restaurants around in case you want that. Uh, and there's hangout spots for foreigners too. So you can still go to all the Vietnamese spots, but you can also, um, you know, be around other people that you can connect with because sometimes it's difficult if uh, there's a language and cultural barrier with Vietnamese people. Of course, I still recommend that. That's, it's awesome to do. So yeah, check out the Facebook group. Type in uh, Te Ho Room if you want to find a room in a house and expect to pay, you know, 200 to $250 or Teho apartment um, and yeah there's some other, other nice areas you can live in but I recommend this area to get started and uh, yeah it's not a bad spot so those are my tips for getting started finding an apartment or a house you can live in and yes I, I think it's a great option that you have to, to come live out here so if you are interested in getting started, check out my free training, check out our job placement services at ninjateacher.com and you can get started yourself. Uh, it's a lot easier than people think. Uh, if you have a big block in your mind of, wow, going out to Vietnam to live there. Well, yeah, it's a little bit uh, tough to make the, the leap, but uh, it's not that hard to actually get settled in and get started. So thanks for watching this video, hope you found it useful and make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy these videos about living and teaching English in Vietnam and about the rest of Asia because I'm going to be doing some interesting stuff in the future. So stay tuned and I'll speak to you very soon. Cheers.